Today on Chase and Tail TV, we're gonna be heading out of Atlantic Beach, out of Deb's Inlet. We're gonna be doing something a little different, a little small boat inshore sharking. If you recall, last week we did an episode with Evan up in the upper Delaware River. Evan, you promised me my first rainbow. Yeah, we got a wild rainbow up there. And you sold you sold the ad, you got me two. Yeah. So now today is my return favor. You asked me to get you your first inshore shark, hopefully a thresher, but an inshore shark. And that's what we're gonna do today. You ready for this, buddy? I'm fired up. Let's ready, do this, ready man. for a battle, let's go. As you can see, we got the bait already. There's tons of bunker we just threw the net on. We are good to go and hopefully we're gonna get a thresher or something, you know, maybe a hammer, a blue shark, brown shark. We'll any, have a good time. Any, any kind of shark, let's go have some fun. Let's do it, buddy. We're out. So now if it's like if it's flat and you don't want to use a lot of the chum, you can let the line go out longer. So now the rock in the boat's not going to affect the chum, so it won't go out as fast. If you want the chum to go out faster, pull it in closer and take it out of the water a little bit. Now as the boat rocks, it's working that chum bucket a little harder. We'll do that with this one. We'll keep this one a little closer just to get our chum slick going. My favorite bait to use right now is basically, I call it a flapping bunker, but it's really a butterfly bunker. So what you can do is basically, I do it this way, I'll stab it right in here and just come right down like that. Come around the other side, stab it in and just bring it right back to you. All right, and then take off. This fish doesn't have a tail. Normally I would just cut off the tail, but he doesn't have one, so it's fine. Now what you do is I'll give you my rigging needle here. And with the new laws now, we got to use circle hooks, which is fishing inshore. And that's within the three mile line. We're a little bit over our three mile line, but I'll still go with the inshore rules. <clears throat> That's a 20 0 Eagle Claw circle hook. And I'll put a small little piece of wax line on there. And this is the way they do it actually in, in Florida. They rig it this way. So I'm going to come through the bottom. In Florida, when they're using like the, uh, the goggle eyes and stuff for the kites, they'll put it through the back here okay. and they'll keep the fish alive. So that's through there. So you have that like that. Let me just put this here so I don't lose that. So what you want to do is now once you have that circle hooked through, all right, take your wax line. And you're gonna go right back through the tip of the hook like that. Then what you want to do is you twist it. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go with six times. Now you see that little loop right there? You bet. We're gonna take the tip of that hook and go right back through that. So push us like this. And then run this right back through there. And bring it back. And that's it. And if I want to tighten a little more, I could go a little more tighter. And so on. And that now leaves this hook fully exposed to get a fish on there. So that thing, nothing's gonna, you know, be in the way of that, that gap. And I could have went a little bit, I could have made a couple more turns just to get a little bit tighter. Let me see if I can get this through. Probably not. Yeah, I should have went a little tighter, but that's fine. You know, I could, sometimes I can run that hook right so it's on top of the head of that fish. But that's basically the bait right there. See which way your chum's going. What's nice about doing a bait too, like when it's going through the current, it goes like this. Yeah. So it actually looks like the bait is swimming, which is pretty cool. Makes sense. So right now, basically we've got a 10 ounce lead sinker, nothing special, yep. little electrical tape. So you get a couple wraps. So now you, you, know, you put a couple wraps around the lead. So you can see that. Yeah. Now what you do is you take your wire. I'm gonna put it right basically on this cable wrap right here. You can put it on the wire, but I'll go to the cable. This way it doesn't slide. And just do a couple more wraps around the cable. You can see that, Evan? Yeah, I do. I'm doing a... You gotta get her down. Yep. Pop that off. And that's basically it. Now that could fall off, it'll slide off, off. You know, if you need to, it's not really in a way I can undo it, but it's fine. And that's a 10 ounce. All right, so now we have our sinker set up. Everything's good, I'm gonna start counting it down. Some people do six foot poles. I usually do about two foot. So here's your weight. So that's already two feet, let's say, for the count. Four, six, eight, ten. So that's about like ten feet, you know? And yep. let's do another, you know, keep going. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, twenty. And this twenty. Now I'm up to my bimini twist, which is right here. Okay. And that's with the double line. So that's approximately about twenty feet down. We'll go a little more. Two, four, six, eight, thirty. Two, four, six, 
eight, 40. So that's about 45 feet because I baked a little bit lower than the weight. Right. So we're about 45 feet. So lock it up for a second and we grab a balloon. What color are you like today? Ah, uh, green. Green for money, go. baby. You bet. You bet. <laughs> Keep it green. So now when you blow these balloons up, you don't want to make them too, too big. Because right. then the shark's got more resistance trying to pull the bait down. Okay. So you do a little small, you know, like softball. <laughs> Probably right about there. Tie it up. Everybody does their balloons differently. You know, there's really no set way to doing it. One person might do it one way. As long as it stays on the line and it's good, it's fine. And I'll just take it, I like to go under the bubble right there. See that bubble? Yeah. You know, take it underneath that. It's actually what your uh, balloon set. Oop. We actually got some current. If you see this line's on an angle. This is gonna slide. If it slides, you might have to do a double wrap. Just cinch up on it. See, it's not going anywhere now. It's snug, it's staying in that area. Yeah. It's good. So now this is gonna be our far ride, so we'll just let it go. Let's let that keep going out. And that's gonna be a far rod, far and deep. We got a nice drift. I mean, look how fast that balloon's walking away yeah. from the boater. We got a really good drift going. So, having this rig right now is a little bit of a different rig. This is a cable. We have 10 feet of cable here. And we attach a small section, four to five feet of the single strand wire. And I have a rattle on it, a little traction, yep. followed by a multicolor skirt. I think this is a zucchini color. And again, another circle hook. Like this one I'm going to do. It. it looks good, right? It looks definitely fishy. And this one I'm not going to thread on. This one I'm going to go straight through the nose. But when you do that, you got to make sure you don't use too much meat. Because the more meat you put in here, the harder it is for that fish to get, you know, the gap into his mouth. So I'll show you how we do this one. Let's get this one set up on a run. That is a total of like 14 feet too. So if we get something with two guys, it's a little bit tough to land them. A little bit. Yeah, there's all this cable. The shock be out there and you can't reel it anymore, but. It's gonna be. Uh, it's part of the game, right? It's fun, man. This is all uh, <laughs> exponentially uh, larger than what I'm used to. <laughs> Saint no rainbow trap. Yeah. <laughs> Again, the same thing, we'll do the lead. This is an eight ounce. All right. And you can see today, you definitely need the lead by the yeah, current that we have. Yeah, absolutely, with this current. Drift. So I just, oops, sorry about that. Couple wraps on the lead. Take it over to the, I'm gonna put this right on top of the mono, right above it. Oop. Gotta get your sea legs going today with the swell. No kidding. Okay, so that's on now. So that's ready to go. Lay that there. Let's get another bunker. Again, I'm going to do the same style bait. We're going to just stick it in here. Out. Reverse. This also puts out flavor too. And now this one has a tail, so we're going to take a quick cut. Just take that tail off, and that's our bait. So remember, I was telling about the loaded bunker before. Yeah, yeah. You ask what that is. Here's what we do. So we we'll only use a little piece of the lip here because, again, it's a circle hook. See how small of an area I got? Right. So I'm really not doing much of that. Now what I could do is, probably need a knife for this. Probably should have did it before, but you can open up this mouth. Right there. Gotta open this up. Of course, he's gotta close his mouth and be difficult. And pour a little bunk oil in this fish. Load it up. He's chugging away there, you know? He sure is. So now that's what I call a load of baits. Now all that bunk oil's in his head. So when he's down and now drifting, all that oil's oozing out. It's like a starburst for a shark. Yeah, basically. <laughs> a little gush of flavor. A gusher, yeah, gush of flavor. <laughs> and also what happens now, when we get a hit, this rod's gonna go singing. You know, you can hear that click is going, you're gonna notice a fish on it. Yeah. I'm gonna grab the rod. With the circle hook, you don't wanna, you know, start doing right, that. Right, right. You don't do that. What you do is I'm gonna slowly put up the drag and that hook's gonna start coming out and it's gonna get that fish right here. Right, and you'll see it when we catch them. You'll see it in the corner of the mouth. Absolutely. And then once that's lodged, I might give it a couple little whacks just to make sure the hook gets buried. 
you know, but until I know that hook's gone uh, in, the, in the fish's mouth or in the jaw and it's locked in there, you'll feel like that. You want that drag to be going out. You know that it's in there. Yeah. Then yeah, give it a couple shots. I'm gonna hand you the rod. You're gonna put your belt on. You're gonna fight the fish. I'm gonna start the boat, pull in all these other rods and clear your whole work area. This way you're the only rod in the water. Yeah. Everything else come out, put them up in the front of the boat and this whole area I want to clear and that's all yours. And then I'll just run the boat and you fight the fish. Sounds good. <laughs> Do I need it? Big blue shark, baby. Come on, go get your belt. You gotta get your belt. All right, all right. All right, shark on, baby. <laughs> He's up on the surface. Hey, look at him up on the surface. See him up on the oh, surface? Yeah, I see him up there. <laughs> is it a hammer? You, it is a hammer. It's a hammerhead, buddy. There you go, baby. Hammerhead. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Hammerhead shark. How cool is that? Holy sh. <laughs> nice. And you can see what a circle hook is. Yeah, right it's right in there. Mouth, huh? Whenever I wire a fish, I always want to loosen up on a drag just for this exact this reason, in case it takes off. Okay, right here. Yep. Okay, now put that in a rod holder. Now see what the hook is? Look, perfect in the mount. See it? Yeah. Perfect. Look at that. Hold the wire for a second. Yep. You got that? Got it. There's your hammerhead. Damn. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put him back in the water. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, remember that pliers I grabbed? Which fell, of course. Got him right here. Okay, hold him tight. I'm going to wrap up in that wire. Yeah. What you do is a simple snip as close as you can. Oh, goodbye, hammer. Goodbye. Bro. <laughs> That's, it, baby. That's <laughs> sweet. That's awesome. All right. In short First shot. shark in the boat. Sick. They fight hard, those hammerheads. Yeah, Real man, hard. that was cool. He took off right off the start. That was All awesome. Right. 11, we did it. Got you your first inshore shark. Got your nice hammerhead shark. Didn't get the thresher, but we still got you your first inshore shark. So what'd you think? Oh man, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks, for, thanks for having me out here. And uh, it was really cool to see that hammerhead come to the boat. Definitely cool, brother. Thank you again for coming. We'll do it again. Absolutely, sir. Thank you. Let's do it. Yeah.